right, so today we are going to be working on the western headdresses. All the materials on the table here are what you're going to need to complete the headdress. So the stuff that you're going to need that will be provided in your kit is 20 of the safety pins. You will have two pieces of wire that have loops at the end. One's longer and one's shorter than the other. You're going to have all of, your be all of your beads provided in your bag as well, along with the felt and the leather pieces and the feathers. The most things that you're going to need for this kit is the glue. You're going to have to provide that yourself. It's just regular white glue. The first step is we're going to have to complete all of our beadwork on our safety pins. So in each kit there is going to be a pattern already on one of the safety pins and what you're going to do is you're going to follow the same pattern on all of the safety pins. So let's do that. So the beads that you're going to be using for this pattern is your rondel beads and the spaghetti noodle beads. Those are the only ones you're going to need just for the step. Okay, so for the next step, after when you get all of your pins all beaded, you're going to take your any color of your rondelle beads and you're going to put it on your smallest wire. And then you're going to start to thread the circle part of your safety pins at the end. And as you put them on, you're going to start off with one bead and then add the safety pin, then add your next bead, and then you can to continue to add your safety pins on your wire. And you're going to keep adding a bead and adding your safety pin. And as you're going, you want to make sure that you line up your safety pins with the beads facing out and all of them lined up together. Now I just gotta do this for a long time. <laughs> and you're just going to continue doing one after another. And at the very end, you want to make sure that you end off as well with one more of your little beads. And it should look something, I can get it to straighten up here, like this in the end. Then after that, you're going to want to squeeze them together. And you're going to grab your scissors and you're going to cut a piece of your wire off. Then you're going to grab your needle nose pliers and you're going to grab the end of your wire and you're just going to bend it in like a circle so it keeps all of these together. And you want to make sure that you leave a wide enough circle at the end so you can thread one of your pieces of leather through the circle as well. Well, it's something like that. <laughs> and then 
what we're going to do is we're going to do our end part to make the wide end of the headdress. So I will grab two more of your little beads. And for this step, you're going to be using your crow beads. In your kit, you are going to use your long piece of wire and your great big crow beads. There is going to be four beads that are two different that are that is a different color, and you are going to use those for the decorative part at the end. So what you're going to do is use your beads that have the most color with it. So my main color here is yellow. So to start this off, you're going to get one of your little beads and start it off and put it at the end of your wire. Then you're going to grab one of your crow beads and put it at the end of your wire. Then as you go through, you're going to go through each holes of the safety pins. And you're going to do the exact same thing that you did at the bottom. You're going to go through your hole. And as you go through each hole of the safety pin, before you go through the next, you're going to add on your next crow bead and then go through the next safety pin and you're going to continue to add beads and go through your safety pin until you get to the very end. Then the same thing at the end, you're going to add one more crow bead at the end and your last small bead. And the same thing like what you did at the bottom, you're going to squeeze them together. Then you're going to grab your scissors, cut the rest of your wire off, grab your pliers, and then we're going to fold it in. Nice and tight. Nice and tight. <laughs> there. So it will look something like this in the end. You just want to shape it up. And then that is the base of your headdress. And then the next part, what you're going to do is you're going to grab your felt. And then with your felt, you are going to thread it through the back of the headdress. So what you're going to do is you're going to take it and you're going to slide it all the way through first. Oh, this is a sickening part. It helps if you use your needle nose pliers and kind of just shove the felt through. You want to make sure that the felt goes all the way through the bottom first. So no overlapping, just all the way through the bottom. Then the next step with these extra pieces of felt, you are going to weave under and over each of the safety pins. So for example, this first part, we're going to go down. And then we are going to pull it up so it weaves through your safety pins. So we've gone over and under, so the next one we're going to go over and under again. It helps to use your needle nose pliers to go under and over through this part with the felt. Okay. 
So it will look something like that. Now we got to do the same thing to the other side. We're going to hide our pieces of felt and the felt is going to help us glue on our feathers. Once when you reach to the other side of your felt that's weaved over, you can cut off some of the excess felt and then weave your next part. And you're going to weave it through so it's all hidden like that and it'll look like that towards the end. 